Hey, what's up everybody? This is Eric FNP. Today, the weather outside is bad, so I'm doing it inside. But then again, it's going to be a helmet, so I can't do much outside anyways, right? It's um, very early in the morning today. It's a bit cozy, but everyone's out, so that's why I have the luxury to do this in the morning. Well, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about helmets. As you can see, bike helmet. And where is this from? Alpina. It's a German brand. Not very famous here or not very known here in Singapore. And as you guys may remember, I am one of those purveyors of non-mainstream brands. So I'm not really a big fan of brands that are overly used are overly owned here in Singapore. Um, you know, like my bicycles are more of the weirder ones, the ones that not many people have. Um, today, Alpina helmet, okay? So this one here is called the Rutage Evo. Rutage, Rutage. Um, what is this one? It's actually very similar to the Fox drop frame, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I got it right. Um, one of those helmets that uh, covers your ears okay so it's a ear cover and that's the reason why I'm wearing this today um, I don't like to have a direct contact between my hair on my head to the helmets um, I always wear this um, you know before I wear my helmets so that's why since I'm going to do a review about this helmet an unboxing review let's just go you know, have the whole look right so first thing out of the box very simple, nothing much, plastic bag, helmet, this is how it looks like, very similar to your Fox drop frame, you know what I'm saying, and the manual, that's it, nothing else, there's a manual telling you how to wear your helmet, how to maintain the helmet and it comes in gazillion languages but well it's an instruction manual okay and in the box really there's nothing else nothing 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 fancy nothing snazzy it's just a box a leaflet a guide a helmet as well as the plastic bag that help the helmet all right um, how does it look like from the inside? Let me show you. That's it. So this is a helmet that has no MIPS. Um, and I think that's the reason why it's actually inexpensive because this bike only goes for 110 euros uh, before delivery into Singapore and there are only two sizes so far as much as I know which would be a medium or large I got the large one uh, this is 57 to 61 centimeters for the large and then after which the medium is if I'm not mistaken 52 to 56 um, I typically use a 58 centimeter size helmet so hopefully this one will suit me right. It doesn't come with any other paddings. That's one drawback. I think that it should have come with more paddings. At least, you know, all the other, most of the other helmets come with two sets of paddings. So, well, so you're washing one, you can actually have a spare one to use. Or I'm not too sure why they don't have a thick or thin padding. Maybe the fit is going to be very tight. So that's why they don't need that kind of um, excess padding. Uh, the helmet visor is actually stuck. I'm sorry I'm wearing black. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a non-moving visor. It's flat. Uh, it, it doesn't allow you to move, but I guess it has ample space for you to put your um, goggles on top. Um, it comes with a locking mechanism at the back. I don't know if you can see this. So it's your regular locking mechanism. Nothing fancy again. And on top of that, your locking mechanism is a 
regular click. That's it. And then pull. The good thing about it though, it does come with a chin sponge. A, a chin sponge here. So it's, it's the little thing that can unlatch over here as well. So that you can wash it. And also a Velcro. It's also Velcro. Okay. Um, how many holes are there? So inclusive the ones with the years. It'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 holes altogether, so it should be quite airy, and especially in Singapore here where we are perpetually hit by hot and cold all the time, it should be quite uh, you know, helpful for us to air the head. And especially for some of the riders here, like, um, you're like Mo, or Mo and Anna, but those kind of long hair, you know, you want quite a number of holes in your helmet, okay? Um, I'm assuming that it, this one is also just as good as any other helmet because at the end of the day, it's German. Typical Germans, right? Surpassing every other standards in the world, you know? So I guess it would be just as good, uh, even though it's got no MIPS. Um, of course, MIPS would be better, but then again, you won't be able to buy such a helmet right now with MIPS at this price. Okay, so I am going to pull this tag so that I can try the helmet on without looking too much like a douchebag. So here goes nothing. That's always painful. All right, so again, Let's try the helmet on. See how it feels. Wow. It's a tight fit. <laughs> it's a tight, tight fit. Okay. I don't know whether you can see properly. I hope you can. Um, the helmet strap. The good thing about the, the chin strap is that it's, 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 it's quite comfortable because of this. Um, you can see my ears, hopefully. On both sides. This is how it looks from the top, from the side, from the front. So I look like I'm taking a mug shot. Um, so yeah, it, 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 it's not heavy. I'm gonna tell you that. I'll add on to the weight later on. I'll take a, a picture of the, the weight. Uh, it's not heavy, this bike. Uh, it is a bit tight on the head portion, if you ask me. Um, and when you Click it, yeah, okay. It's, it's um, there's this something over here. There's this uh, plastic thing that actually guides onto your forehead as well, and that actually it's it can be uncomfortable, I guess, after a long, a long usage. I'm assuming, but other than that, it's a very nice fit. It's, it's extremely snug. This thing, it's um, yeah, it's it's very snug. This helmet is actually quite nice to use. Um, not too sure whether it will last me two or three hours. I don't think this is one of the type of helmets that you want to wear for a long day in the trail, in my opinion. I've not tried it. This is my first impressions of it right now. I'll give you a day two um, helmet review after I've worn it. I'm actually waiting for something right now. That's why I'm not helmet or wearing this helmet. Um, but other than that, the, the feel itself is actually very comfortable. It's actually very nice. It's um, it's very snug, as I mentioned. Uh, it is not a tight fit, as in like you you know it will hurt your 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 skull. There are some helmets that are a bit tight. Uh, well, in my opinion, the Bell helmet, the Bell helmet. I have this Bell Super, and that one for some reason it doesn't really fit my head very well. So when you tighten it, when I tighten it too much, it, it, it kind of hurts my head slightly. But this one here so far, it's okay. It feels all right. Um, I can't wait to use this helmet. Yeah. Uh, I will let you see how this thing looks like with a goggle, I think. Right? Give me a second, I'll go get one. Uh, keep yourself comfortable for the time being. I'll play some elevated music. Three hours later. All right, I'm back. Goggles. Okay. Ah, so there you go. It clips very nicely here on top. 
all right? Nice space, enough for it to hook or anchor the goggle. And after which uh, you wear it like this and how does it feel? It's okay. So this is how it looks at the back with the goggle strap. And this is how I look <laughs> with the goggle on my face. Yeah, it's um, so it's got the feel of a full face, a very light full face. So I'm assuming that light full face will be somewhere along um, the Bell Super or some of the other um, full face helmet. I've got another one, a, a, a Bell something. It's also very light. Um, of course, not so airy for sure, but that one's a full on full face helmet. So, yes, this is how it looks, okay? Very simple. Um, the latching here is very simple as well. Done, nothing fiddle, no D-lock, no nothing. Uh, although they were saying that it's safer to an extent, but I think if you're using this, I'm assuming that you won't go too extreme, in my opinion. Well, I know I won't. Uh, I'm latching the helmet now, taking it out. So yeah, that's how it looks, or that's how it feels. Um, I see, so this is how it feels right now. It's a very nice clean cut here, uh, as you can see. Okay, right. So that's how the bicycle helmet looks. I will show you the weight later on in the still. Okay. Tell me what you think of this helmet. I have yet to try my friend's Fox drop frame. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that one's called a drop frame. I've yet to try that one, so when I do, I will have a talk about it. I'll have a brief comparison between that and this. I know that I bought this because it was affordable, number one, number two, because it's not a mainstream brand, okay? That's all I've got to say for this Alpina Rutage helmet, Rutage Evo helmet, Alpina, German made, I don't know if it's German made, but it's just German brand. You know. Like a lot of things now, every, you know, everything is all made in China. Well, again, Alpina Rute Chivo. The helmet with the protection for the ears. Um, let, me, let me know what you think. What do you think of the look? Uh, do you like it? Yay, nay? You know, and um, if some of you have it, please let me know. Compare this to the gyro. They've got one gyro covered over the years, but there are only two small holes here, so it's pretty meh, I feel. I mean, if you ask me, it's, it's going to be hot. And then the Fox, the Fox Pro drop frame. But that one is, damn, the price is off the roof. You know, but if you want to go for something which has MIPS as well as a brand, which is Fox, definitely go for that one, right? Comment below, tell me what you think about this helmet. Tell me what you think about your helmet. If you guys have helmets like this that covers the years, it's, it's going to be a new trend now, like high pivot bikes. Um, yeah, like the channel, please. Send me some love, that's all I'm asking for. These are all non-sponsored products. These are things which I buy on my own. I'm just doing this out of boredom here in Singapore while it's going to be a regional lockdown until next year. So, I hope that if you guys support me enough, I'll be more driven to do more of this, more of this constantly, okay? Well, until next time, uh, I'm going to say my usual line. Thanks for watching. Like the video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, please, uh, to give me some love. And don't forget, go out and ride, and whatever you do, no bike is a shit bike as long as it makes you smile and please always remember to wear a helmet so that this thing can save your ass so they can continue to smile. Alright, in the meantime, take care now. I'll see you pretty soon. Eric Evan P out.